been the age of the anti-hero on television the last two decades. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see the Feral Clan as sort of the anti-heroes that viewers are going to start pulling for, or are they just the antagonists of the show? Well, it's an interesting thing. I mean, you know, with the show being titled Outsiders, it's it's kind of who really is who really is the outsider. You know, to us, the people in town are the outsiders in our world, but to them, we're the outsiders to them. So everybody has, everybody's fighting for something. You know, in town, the coal company comes in, but in reality, you know, people need coal to power their homes. It would provide jobs for the town. It would give them a lot. And for us, they're threatening to take our home. So everybody has things they need. So it's the lines are kind of gray of who's good, who's bad, who's right, and who's wrong. And I think that's kind of one of the most interesting things about the show. And that changes from week to week. It's like the person that you were rooting for, you might not root for them next week. But I think it's interesting that you kind of see the vulnerability in every person trying to protect what is theirs mm -hmm. in, in a, a way like that. Yeah. I think place and community really interest me in the pilot. Um, do the Pharaohs, do they value place in like the abstract sense, or is it that physical space of being in the woods that they're really looking to protect? I mean, they've, they've been there for 200 years. I mean, that is their home. You know, they, they know that place. They've built that place. They, they live there. I mean, that's what they protect. It's their little piece of, yeah, you know, you don't necessarily want to say paradise, but it's like, it's, that's theirs, and that's where they live. I mean, anybody would fight for their home. And they've chosen know? not to and, leave. Right, and they've, exactly, and they've chosen not to leave. They've, they've, they've chosen that this is going to be where they are. So I don't necessarily if, know if they're, you know, you know, they're not fighting for anything material or anything like that. It's more just we're fighting for our home. It's if somebody comes in and wants to take what's yours, it's, it's you're not going to let it go easily. And realistically, in my mind, it's who really owns a mountain. The people who've been there for 200 years or the coal company who needs it for, right. you know, the rest of the country. I cannot predict how people will respond to Big Foster. Um, I can tell you that, that he, he started out just as, as just a 